There has been significant talk in the town about Tom Cruise and SpaceX's collab with NASA on a project to film a narrative space-based feature film involving authentic visuals from space, but a lot of homework is yet to be done. When Tom Cruise was linked to this news, it was, ladies and gentlemen, no surprises as to why he was shortlisted. As the stunt-loving Hollywood icon hung from a helicopter and damaged his ankle during an attempt to jump from one roof to another in Mission Impossible Fallout, suspended from a jet in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation's takeoff scene, and climbed the world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa in Ghost Protocol. Long story short, he does what other people fear, and that's what makes him stand out from the rest. Tom Cruise is officially heading into space on October 2022 to shoot a featureless film starring Age of Tomorrow director Doug Lyman. The American multiple award-winning director come producer has previously worked on a variety of hit films and shares a good chemistry with Tom. In the months following reports that Cruise is working with SpaceX CEO Elon Musk and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, it has been confirmed that the Hollywood star will be part of the launch next year. The space shuttle Almanac logged into its official Twitter account on September 19th to share the International Space Station ISS manifest for 2020-2023 which includes the launch of Cruz and Lyman as part of the SpaceX Crew Dragon Axiom tourist flight. The manifest indicates that Cruz and Lyman, listed as Tourist 1 and 2, will be joined by SpaceX pilot Michael Lopez Alegria. At the same time, the Tourist 3 space is still open, which can be filled by a photographer or other character. Cruz and the team will be filming the ISS, NASA director Jim Bridenstine revealed last May 6th. The upcoming film will be the first movie ever shot in space when it passes as planned. The film is reportedly a $200 million universal project, according to the July 30th deadline. No further details have been released about the movie. However, Tom's plans to become the first actor to do so were thwarted by a Russian film crew who jumped to the International Space Station to begin filming The Challenge. With four months to prepare for space travel, the Russian film crew that exploded on October 5th on the Soyuz MS-19 spacecraft have returned to Earth after closing the scenes of the first film shot in space. The film will highlight Russia's success in space and tell the story of a doctor rushing into space to help an astronaut with a heart condition. Oleg Novitsky, an experienced Russian cosmonaut, will play a character with a heart problem in the movie. Once done with the acting part, he himself will return to the captaincy of Soyuz's spacecraft and return the actor and director to Earth. In the words of NASA, the project marks the expansion of commercial space opportunities to include a filmmaking feature. The challenge, which will premiere on Russia's Channel One, becomes the first film to be shot in space. Actress Yulia Peresild said training for the trip was difficult, but she said, once they reach their goal, all that will seem not so difficult, and we will remember it with a smile. The featured film is the brainchild of the head of the space agency, Ross Cosmos, who once fired the director of crewed missions in disagreement over the project. Rogozin said he designed the script himself to better represent the realities of space travel. We describe some of the real emergencies that may occur there, he said. Sergei Krikalev, a veteran cosmonaut, managed to land the job again a few days later amid widespread outrage over his dismissal. Space deserves being shown in a more professional, artful way, added Rogozin. The shooting of the film at International Space Station was accompanied by a drama worthy for a film called The Challenge. On Friday, the ISS tilted abruptly after an error in its thrusters, which disturbed the filming process, something definitely not considered part of the scripts and was linked to unplanned thruster firings. The thruster firing unexpectedly continued after the end of the test window, resulting in a loss of attitude control for the International Space Station at 5.13 a.m., said NASA officials in a rather quick update after the incident. Elaborating further, they told that flight controllers regained control of the spacecraft within half an hour and stability was achieved as the crew were alert and awake. A tilt of around 57 degrees was observed from its normal orientation based on what we know from the conversations between Novitsky and Russian flight director Mr. Vladimir Solovyov. It was the second such incident in a span of less than three months, which calls for enhanced analysis. However, this was not the only interaction for the film crew with technological glitches. When it arrived on October 5th, 
The Soyuz's automatic Kurs docking system failed, and the commander had to resort to manual maneuvering. The module carrying Perisild and Shipenko, accompanied by cosmonaut Oleg Novitsky, landed back on Earth via parachute during lunchtime in Kazakhstan. Altogether, Friday's disruption did not delay their departure, which resulted in a loss of control of areas for just about half an hour. And you might just be wondering what's prompting space agencies to collaborate with celebrities. The math is clear and straightforward. Celebrities and pop culture have suddenly become obsessed with space. Access to technology and information is skyrocketing, and the emphasis on STEM is increasing day by day. For today's generation, tech corporation owners and billionaires like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos are superheroes. And for ordinary people, traveling to space feels like a near reality for the first time. It all manifested itself in some particularly notable displays of tech, science, and space in popular culture, like hit TV shows and chart-topping songs, which cemented society's new space obsession even further. Emily Fafaro, a NASA social media expert, has seen this space play out online. Her work focuses heavily on monitoring conversations on space, and she has seen tremendous growth in the talk about NASA and space in general as a topic of discussion. In just four years since I started working at NASA, I have definitely seen an increase in people talking about space in the form of pop culture as opposed to the scientific method," she said. Another factor fueling our newfound affinity for the stars is the growing on-screen presence of technology, science, and space. Over the years, Hollywood launched Interstellar, Gravity, Avengers, The Martian, and Hidden Figures, as well as new Star Wars and Star Trek movies. And on TV, two of the most widely watched shows of the decade include space plotlines and nerds as the main characters. Celebrities and billionaires play an important role as well, such as Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson, who has been planning his trip to space for a long time. He also sold several $250,000 tickets for others, including celebrities, to follow suit. Jeff Bezos, too, is talking about a society in space, complete with custom-built Earth-like habitats. And Musk unveiled plans to send humans to the Moon by 2023 and to Mars by 2024. But there are still deeper reasons for our newfound passion for space. The younger generation online is a major force in the space pop culture explosion, as they are with most trends. Whenever NASA interacts with a celebrity, the answers are filled with young fans who comment enthusiastically about space. And with technologies emerging to the horizon like that of artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things (IoT), we are standing at the zenith of a new technological revolution. And there is even more interest in technology and science because of how many opportunities these subjects open up in today's society. Lastly, we have to exclusively mention Elon Musk, who is leading the charge for serving as the biggest motivation for people in this craze. As a visionary and one of the most essential entrepreneurs on the planet, we are excited to be alive with him at the same time and be able to see everything he has accomplished. That's a wrap for now. Let's see how Tom Cruise's film turns out to be when it finally graces the screens and opens to public critique. Stay tuned to the channel for more on space and celebrities eager to jump on the newly found trend. Et voila!